In this tutorial, we will use Agent Ops with Autogen to trace and monitor the AI agents. Autogen is a multi agent framework. We will use a simple Autogen sample with a conversable agent and a user proxy agent and connect it to Agent Ops. Agent Ops, on the other hand, helps developers build, evaluate, and monitor AI agents. With Agent Ops, we can monitor the LLM calls, cost, tokens, latency, agent interactions, and other useful information. It gives us an overview of each step and the duration of the step with much more helpful information. You can check the GitHub page to see how Agent Ops is integrated with different multi-agent frameworks. In this tutorial, we will cover the integration of Agent Ops with Autogen. In coming videos, we will use it with other frameworks too. If you are interested in AI automation or finance related programming, join our community on school. Depending on when you watch this video, our school community may be free or already a paid community. So if you are interested in these topics and want to access the collabs related to our videos, join the community today. After joining the community, navigate to classroom then navigate to Agent Ops course and access the collab related to this video. We will keep the collabs updated in the community so that our code works even when the libraries and tools get updated. The easiest way to follow up this tutorial is to use our collab. This way you do not need to install Python environments or set up another Conda environment. You only need a free Gmail account to open the shared collabs. Another advantage of using collab is that you assign your keys once in the collab secrets and can use them in many different places. For this tutorial, you first need to create some API keys. So navigate to Agent Ops and then to the dashboard. You can create an Agent Ops project, or if you have already created a project, you can navigate to Settings, recreate your key, and copy the key. Back to Colab, you go to the Secret sections and create a new environment variable with the name Agent Ops API Key. Then you paste the copied key into the value. We do the same for OpenAI API Key. But here I already assigned a key to OpenAI API key. So if you need to create a key, navigate to platformopenai.com and create your own API key. Back to Colab. For this tutorial, we would like our Colab to have access to our OpenAI key and the Agent Ops API key. We grant access to these two keys, close the secret, and are ready to run our cells in our Colab. In the collab, you see some text cells with markdown information and some code cells. In the first code cell, we will install the needed packages for this tutorial, which are PyAutogen and Agent Ops. This will take some time and we must restart our session to use our newly installed packages. We can hide the output to make some room. After installing the packages, we import them. We have two ways to assign the API keys. One way is to use get pass and give them each time we run the cell as input. The easier way is to store the keys in Colab secret as we did and access them. You can choose whatever way you like, but after running the cell, we have to have the value of the agent ops API key in our variable. The same is true for the OpenAI API key. After running these two cells, our collab has to have access to both API keys. We initialize agent ops in the next cell using our API key. The following configuration is for Autogen. You can have a separate OAI config list file in the root of the project directory. But here we hard coded the value directly in the cell using the GPT-40 as the LLM and assigning our OpenAI API key. We create a conversable agent 
name it agent, provide the configuration, and assign it to assistant. In the next cell, we define a user proxy agent called user, set code execution config to false, and assign it to user proxy. Next, we enter a user message like what is AGI and check it. We will pass it in the next cell to message when we initialize the chat. The agent interaction starts. We hit enter to use auto reply and get the answer from the LLM. After we got the answer from LLM, we enter exit. In the last cell, we end the agent ops session with success. That means we connected Autogen to Agent Ops with a few lines of code, and we can now navigate to Agent Ops dashboard and see the agent's traces. When we click on project, we see some statistics about our last run, such as the total cost and the number of tokens used, as well as some other statistics and a visual representation of the statistics. In the session drill down, we get more information and can see the interactions between the agents, the timeline of events, and the duration of each step. We may want to run our code multiple times. In the community, we will always keep our collabs up to date and continuously improve them. So please always check when we last check the collab. In addition on working on our shared collab, you can always make a copy of the collab in your drive. You can run the copy and customize it to your needs. This will be your personal copy. Working with collab will speed up your process. Remember that you have your set of keys in your secret and can give the copy of the collab access to your keys. You may decide not to provide access and do this when executing the cells, as we will see later in this run. We will install the packages again, as each collab has its own environment. Again, we need to restart the session. After the packages are installed, we will import them. This time, when we run the cell with our API key, Colab checks if we have an environment variable in our secret keys that matches with the name and asks if we want to grant access to it. The Colab can read our agent's API keys when we grant access. We do the same for our OpenAI API key. Now, like the first run, we first initialize the agent with the key. Then we use the same config list as before. We could change the LLM, but for this sample, we will keep it simple and use the same config list. Then we define our assistant and our user proxy agent. And again, we will give the same prompt, what is AGI? Then we pass it as user message and initialize the chat. The interaction starts. Again, like the first run, we hit enter to let the agents do the job. And when we got the answer, we type exit to terminate the conversation and check the result. Finally, we terminate the agent ops session with success. We navigate to agents op dashboard and from there to our project. We see the statistics of the second run. And then in the session drill down, we can select the latest session. Again, we can trace all of the steps and see the interactions between the agents. To wrap it up, with a few lines of code, we can connect Autogen to Agent Ops and trace our agents. This will help us evaluate and monitor agent activities and build more reliable agents. This is more useful when we use tools in our agents, which we will cover in the coming videos. You can access the collab for coming videos on our community before the video is created. Good luck connecting Autogen to Agent Ops.